opportunity to create a consistent GM brand promise while also delivering an unrivaled range of electric vehicles across our brands, each with unique personalities that reflect the unique priorities of the millions of customers we serve. Even if you've never considered driving an EV before, over the next five years, GMC, Cadillac, Buick and Chevrolet intend to present you with a vehicle that you'll fall in love with. And there's a good chance it will be an EV. We hope by now that you are starting to see how we intend to deliver on our vision of zero emissions not just by making zero emission vehicles, but by using the transition to an all electric vehicle future as an opportunity to reimagine how we move, making our EV future something people race toward. But we're not stopping there because this is also an opportunity to reimagine how goods are moved. I'm pleased to announce Bright Drop, a new business from General Motors that reimagines commercial delivery and logistics for an all electric future. Bright Drop provides an ecosystem of smart, connected products, including electric vehicles and software-enabled services, offering commercial delivery companies a platform for sustainable growth. Families manage a few cars at a time. Delivery companies manage thousands, even hundreds of thousands of vehicles. They are on the front lines of efforts to reduce vehicle emissions and congestion, as many countries around the world set limits on commercial delivery vehicles while at the same time trying to meet rapidly rising demand for e-commerce services. That means processing millions of packages coming from an increasingly diverse number of businesses, while meeting changing expectations about how long people are willing to wait for those packages to reach their door. The pandemic has only accelerated those challenges. As this sector became our lifeline to goods and services we could no longer access in person. Bright Drop represents an all new approach with a dedicated platform leveraging Ultium to provide precisely what our customers are asking for. It aims to provide this sector with products, software and services, as well as support that they need to move goods from warehouse shelf to front door as efficiently and safely as possible. Bright Drop's goal is to transform delivery and logistics for an all electric future. It includes an expanding range of connected all electric products and the tools and services to make those products work together efficiently, intelligently, and all with less impact on the environment. It starts with the Bright Drop EP1, an electric propelled pallet that helps reduce the time and physical effort required for couriers to get goods from the delivery van to the front door. Goods are consolidated and loaded into the EP1 at the warehouse based on their destination. The Bright Drop mobile asset management platform connects to the EP1s so key information like location, battery status and more can be viewed remotely. The EP1's electric motor makes it easier for couriers to move around. Its speed adjusts up to three miles per hour depending on the courier's walking pace. The pallets are purpose designed for optimal loading into delivery vehicles and can be tethered together for larger drops, helping to reduce errors, secure packages, reduce the strain on drivers, and enable more efficient delivery. Don't be surprised to see couriers leading EP1s down our sidewalks in the next few months. Then of course, we have the all new Bright Drop EV600 electric van. The Bright Drop EV600 will be built on the Altium platform using the same high energy modular architecture and is targeted to provide up to 250 miles of range while optimizing available cargo space. It's lightweight, purpose-built to carry Bright Drop EP1s. It has segment leading active safety features and zero emissions. It will also be part of the connected family of Bright Drop products, which delivery companies can manage remotely via our Bright Drop fleet management platform to help optimize vehicle use and oversee energy management. The first EV600s will be delivered towards the end of this year. The Bright Drop integrated ecosystem will leverage a combination of Bright Drop sales and service networks, as well as a newly established Bright Drop dealer network for sales and service support for the EV600s. And the Bright Drop EP1 and EV600 are just the first of an expanding range of products that will connect seamlessly for increasing efficiency. A number of Bright Drop concepts are being explored, such as a medium distance solution that transports multiple EP1s, 
and a rapid load delivery concept designed to load and unload EP1s on and off the vehicle with ease, freeing up valuable curb space quickly. And just like our consumer vehicles, we're committed to help make the transition to a smarter, all electric future as easy as possible. To support these products and services, we will help customers set up charging infrastructure and provide access to parts, service, and more. Brightjump is a single destination for delivery companies that want to make the transition to a more sustainable future, moving goods more efficiently to help reduce congestion and lower emissions, helping electrify an industry. Bright Drop is the result of working with commercial customers, listening to their challenges, and leveraging our technology to help meet their needs. To further innovation, Bright Drop has partnered with another iconic American company and a global leader of express distribution, FedEx Express. I've asked Richard Smith of FedEx Express to tell you more. Thanks, Mary. FedEx has spent the last several years implementing innovative solutions to prepare our business for the exponential growth in e-commerce. That forward-looking effort really paid off for our customers during the pandemic. In the last nine months, we've seen e-commerce accelerate to levels that weren't anticipated for another three to five years. And as people have experienced the ease with which they can now get an incredible range of goods delivered directly to their doors, we don't expect them to go back when the pandemic is over. To put it into context, we expect U.S. residential deliveries to reach 100 million packages a day by 2023, which is three years earlier than previously estimated. We also continue to see growth in the need for express time-definite delivery in industries like healthcare, technology, and aerospace and automotive manufacturing. Right now, we are shipping hundreds of thousands of doses and soon to be millions of COVID-19 vaccines through our express network. So our need for reliable, sustainable transportation has never been more important. Bright Drop is a perfect example of the innovations we're adopting to continue to transform our company. Bright Drop products will help FedEx Express handle unprecedented demand, improve the safety, security, and timeliness of deliveries, reduce our environmental impact, and protect the well-being of our couriers. In an initial pilot we ran with the Bright Drop EP1, our FedEx Express couriers were able to effectively and safely handle 25% more packages per day. The feedback from our team members has been excellent. The EP1s were easy to maneuver and helped to reduce physical strain. We're so pleased we have a second EP1 pilot planned to take place this quarter, and we're expecting the results to be even more impactful. We are also planning to add to our existing electric vehicle fleet by partnering with Bright Drop to introduce the EV600s to our lineup. We are the first company slated to receive the EV600, pictured here behind me, and plan to expand upon that initial commitment to rapidly adopt electricity as a vehicle fuel for years to come. It's part of our FedEx Earth Smart program and our sustainability strategy of reduce, replace, and revolutionize. In this, it does all three, especially revolutionizing for a future with less emissions. And it is consistent with our role of connecting people and possibilities around the world responsibly and resourcefully. We believe Bright Drop will allow for improvements in efficiency at scale, lowering operational costs per mile while improving services for our customers. And of course, solve real issues around emissions and congestion. Thanks, Richard. This is just the beginning of what FedEx Express and Bright Drop will do together. And I couldn't be more optimistic for the strides we will take to build a smarter, more sustainable future for the delivery industry. As Bright Drop demonstrates, and as you saw with the GMC Hummer EV, the Cadillac Lyric, and the Cadillac Celestic, electrification will be a catalyst for a range of new experiences. And that includes how autonomous vehicles will transform our daily experience. Leading the charge on autonomous vehicle development is Cruise the self-driving startup backed by General Motors. After years of development, Cruise now has reached the point where it has removed the human driver from behind the wheel, the true benchmark of a self-driving car, and is now testing fully driverless cars on the streets of San Francisco. I've asked Cruise co-founder Kyle Vogt to give you an update on the incredible progress made by Cruise while the pandemic has been raging all around us. Hi, Mary, thanks for having me. 
this is going to be fun. Um, I'm going to start by talking a little bit about what we accomplished in 2020, despite the pandemic, and then what you can expect from us in 2021 and years to come. So if you roll back the clock to the very beginning of the year, we unveiled the Cruise Origin, which was our first purpose-built all-electric autonomous vehicle for the rideshare and also delivery businesses. And that was great because it gave us a chance to show the world uh, the vehicle and the platform on which our technology is going to be deployed at scale to unlock all the great benefits of autonomous vehicle technology. And after that, we announced that this vehicle, Cruise Origin, is going to be built at Factory Zero, which is GM's plant uh, dedicated to building vehicles powered by Ultium battery technology. And that's important to us because we're not really interested by the potential impact that a couple hundred vehicles can have in one city. That's nice, and I'm, even if those vehicles are doing great things, but what matters to us at Cruise and, and for our mission is to use Factory Zero to build tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of Cruise Origins so that all those vehicles can be out there touching people's lives with a form of transportation that's uh, safer and more affordable and more accessible. And so that's what we're looking forward to with Factory Zero. And then, of course, later in the year, uh, roll the clock forward a little bit and the pandemic hit. Um, we took a look at ourselves and the company and, and thought about what we could do. And we decided to repurpose our fleet to deliver food for communities in need in San Francisco. And so we found two local organizations, the SF Marin Food Bank and SF New Deal, and repurposed our fleet to do deliveries. And to date, we've done over 140,000 meal deliveries. And that's awesome. That makes us feel really good at Cruise. Uh, and even though that's a big number, we know it's just the tip of the iceberg uh, for the potential impact that positive, the positive impact autonomous vehicles can have on our communities. Then a little bit later in the year, we announced our partnership with Walmart, the world's largest retailer, to do a pilot of grocery delivery in Scottsdale, Arizona. And that shows the versatility of the technology we're building uh, and also one of the primary uses of the cruise origin when we start to produce that at scale. And later on, we had a really important milestone uh, both for crews uh, and the industry, and also for me personally, which is our first fully autonomous drive with no human backup driver, nobody behind the wheel, on the streets of San Francisco. And that was a big deal. Um, you know, even though our cars are driving around San Francisco all the time without anyone touching the wheel, doing it with no human backup driver meant that we had done all the validation, testing, legal, uh, lots more testing work uh, to make sure that we had a product that was safe to deploy. And that was in no small part due to our partnership with GM in the five months of testing and trial runs that we did at the Milford Proving Grounds. So thank you, GM, that was really great. And of course, all throughout the year, we used our fleet of electric vehicles, electric autonomous vehicles to collect hundreds of thousands of miles of autonomous driving. And that's useful, not just for the data that helps us train our AI uh, or for the uh, providing feedback for our engineering teams, but also to give a sense of how the general public and other drivers and our potential customers are gonna react to autonomous vehicle technology. And that's really important as we look forward to 2021 and, and beyond when we do early commercialization of this technology. And as you might expect, we still have plenty of work to do until any of you can ride in a cruise origin whenever you want. Uh, but in 2020, we burned down a lot of the big technical and scientific and engineering work uh, and risks that could have held us back. And as you know, our mission is not just to build self-driving car technology or build a self-driving car. It's to build a form of transportation that's safer, cleaner, uh, and more affordable and more accessible than what exists today. And we're on the verge of doing that, thanks to our partnership with GM, of course, many years in the making. Um, so many more good things to come. And as I looked at 2021 and beyond, uh, specifically in 2021, you're gonna see our product become more tangible, more visible, some of you might get to use it. And we're really, really excited to bring all of you along with us on that journey, so thank you. hope that what we've shared with you today gives you the same confidence and excitement about our future of electric and autonomous vehicles that we all share at General Motors. Confidence that the pieces are now in place and excitement for the prospect of a world that is more personal, moves better, and contains experiences none of us have ever had before. And all of us will be able to enjoy. And there's that important word, all. Because if this ambition, talent, and technology doesn't add up to a safer world for all, then it isn't better. We want everyone to have the opportunity to join us and join the movement. We want young girls of color who want to be software technicians or EV and AV engineers to know they have a future at General Motors.
We want everyone to have the opportunity to drive the vehicles we're building. And we want every community to benefit from safer, quieter, greener streets. Last year, the Business Roundtable created a special board committee on racial equity and justice. The Business Roundtable is a nonprofit association whose members are CEOs of major U.S. companies. As part of the effort to address ongoing racial inequities in the United States, I was asked to lead a special subcommittee focused on reconciling disparities in education and workforce. Inequities in education disproportionately affect many low-income and minority communities, which can put children from these communities at a disadvantage as early as grade three. One thing I've learned through my work with the Business Roundtable, before third grade, we learn to read. After third grade, we read to learn. If we're not helping address learning disadvantages early in life, we're setting children up for workforce disadvantages for the rest of their lives. The school closures that have impacted millions of children around the world as a result of the pandemic have exacerbated these problems, creating a potential crisis in the lives and livelihoods of future generations. So as part of advancing a safer world for all, General Motors is donating $1 million to the Khan Academy, one of the world's leaders in online learning, to further its work in bringing best-in-class education to everyone providing training for educators to help adapt to remote learning, translating existing resources to Spanish and bringing them to Spanish speaking communities, further aligning distance learning resources across more school districts, creating a new STEM curriculum for students in the second grade and providing teachers with data driven real time feedback to meet students where they are and bring them up to the standards required in their grades. It is a very proud moment for me to stand here today, representing 164,000 General Motors employees at an inflection point for our company's history and an inflection point for our society. I hope you've heard enough to join us. Thank you for your time and please stay safe. Hey, good morning, everybody. That was a fantastic presentation by General Motors CEO Mary Barra uh, for CES 2021. It's very exciting. I got part of it, 17 minutes and 42 seconds, but chock with a lot of information. Uh, that's the new strategy this time. Last, yesterday, I thought I could get away with doing this one long go live stream. That was a mistake. I'm going to go back to the more pointillist approach that reflects past years of CES coverage. So stay tuned and subscribe to Zenny62 on YouTube. And book Welcome back. Open Rich Shamiro here oh, along you're with my Justine favorites. and Derek here in the studio for CES say. 2021 where we just Don't know Rich, the General I know Motors Justine. Kino, and this was a big one, Justine. It really was. It was incredible. Some really compelling stuff. I'm floored at how quickly we're moving towards those zero emissions. And also, did we just see a flight? So you know what, folks? It's kind I'm of going like to, a really... Uh, it's something that we've all expected I'm going to freeze that would have been here a long time ago. And just the fact we're going to go back and, and we're going to talk like more how can we just utilize about, this airspace um, that is available We're going to find other things to go into right now. Okay? Mm -hmm. and, and, sorry, CES the flying car since the Jetsons. Yeah, thanks a lot. Too. We'll see yeah. you. Uh, one of the